Welcome back for another great week in science learning Amazing Ospreys. This week's first lesson is going to start a little different. We're going to begin by activating your schema or seeing what you already know about aquatic environments. Your answers from today's lesson will help us with tomorrow's lesson. Before we begin, you know the drill. Let's set up our science notebooks. Turn to your table of contents and add today's date, September 28, 2020, in the title of this week's investigation. INV 2.1, Designing an Aquarium. We'll start our new investigation on the next clean page in your science notebook. For me, that's on page 14. Next, turn to page 14 or the next clean page in your science notebook and write the title, our focus question, and page number. Our focus question for in investigation 2.1, Designing an Aquarium is, what are the environmental factors in an aquatic system? So here's our focus question. Please pause the video to make your science notebook look like mine. Like I said before, let's see what you know about living and non-living factors, as well as aquatic environments. Follow along as I read. A student used the picture above to make a list of all the environmental factors she saw in this terrestrial environment. She put an L next to each factor she identified as a living factor. The list the student made appears above. So here's the picture of the environment she's looking at. Here are all of the living and non-living factors and the student put an L next to all the ones that she thought was living. So here are questions that you'll answer in today's Google form. Question number one. Do you agree that all the factors the student marked with an L are living? If not, tell which ones you don't agree with and explain why you don't agree. Remember that living factors are plants and animals. Non-living factors include water, light, temperature, soil, and space. Question number two. Describe how two of the non-living factors might influence the living factors in the terrarium. All right. Remember that you'll answer these questions on the Google form after listening to today's freshwater environments reading. What are some aquatic environments you know of? Think about the body of waters you have been to or read about. It's okay if you're not sure what environments you know of, what aquatic environments you know of. You will know some after listening to today's freshwaters, freshwater environments reading. Tomorrow we will review your answers and continue with our lesson, Designing an Aquarium. Please move to the next part of today's science lesson. Have an awesome Osprey day.